Ooh. What goes on here? Ah! Pretty excited to be playing this, which is saying something. Because <clears throat> I don't really like this game. An Era of Ruin! The divine beasts who crossed the forest were attracted by the requiem of black and white offered by my father and me, and were sealed in the corridor of eternity. The story of Gi, a prophet of great tranquility, once they were cleansed... Once they are cleansed, people will receive the fruit of new knowledge. However, the fruit bears seeds of warning. <clears throat> A new ordeal, a new enemy, the sacred spirits who came from deep within the wormhole forest. They will become hosts to the darkness, and they will gain wisdom. Kalma, a beast with the wisdom of darkness, heading for the surface, appearing like a human out to exterminate the evil spirits of the forests. Humans. I organize the heroic troops, taking the advice of the sacred... Spirit Kiki Knock. The troops made good use of sacred battle formation devised by the ancient Gehenna arts. People call them uh, beast hunters. This isn't going to be perfect, but it'll be pretty close to perfect. Oh, I was going to get Ragnuts on this, but this game is pretty long. Um. Yeah, the game's pretty long, and I don't want to put him through that, since we're already doing, like, a super long game. So, um, we've decided as a group to try and keep any co-op stuff down to, like, 20-hour games. Um, just because it, it takes a lot of time and effort to do some of those, like, on Epic. Me and Ragnuts last night played that, uh, just to give you an idea of where we're at, and, um... Like, we just got to the emboss. It's probably going to be something like 63... Actually, it'll be more than that. Probably be closer to 70 videos for that whole thing, and we started that well over a year ago. <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this on my own. That way, Ragnats, buddy, you can enjoy this. I know I don't like this one as much as the first one. Um, it is pretty addicting though for as much as they took out um and i did show him a little bit last night like hey i got this working and uh his when he was looking at it um well let's let's just start because they're gonna talk a lot and then i'll get into all that fun goodness best character ever right here hey my name's nico i'm a fairy from the dream world it's somewhere between, you know, heaven and earth. Anyway, you ever heard the story of Jade Cocoon? Monsters wander through the forest. And people live in fear of them hiding in magical protection. That age is said to have lasted a long time. Yet that entire pack of monsters is said to have been sealed in the wormhole forest by the brave actions of a single hunter. So, pretty amazing, huh? Time passed and the saga faded to legend. And after a long period of silence, the seal was finally about to be broken. But, however... <laughs> hmm, let's see. The time to assemble has come again. Save the world from the beasts of darkness. This recent Help Wanted ad stirred up the public by advertising Make a quick buck in all the rank and honor you want. Come on out. Starting today, you too can be a hero. Yeah, magic and monsters. No matter how much you know about them, you still won't be popular with the girls. Much less attract them. Ta-da! This is the brave hero of our story. His name is Kahoo. He's a perfectly normal little boy who adores the legendary Cocoon Master. You call that normal? Yes. Well, we won't worry about that now. Thus, Kahu begins his journey and heads to the temple to meet his hero. So I wonder, what will be young Kahu's fate? So those scan line things you see on the screen, those are supposed to be there for the cutscene. In case you were wondering. Cool. 
I warped into a room. Is this the power of magic too? Hmm, this place is pretty small inside. Now, how do I get to be a cocoon master? Maybe I'll ask someone. Okay. <clears throat> uh, a couple things. Yeah. This... First... We're changing that to that. Minor spoilers there. <coughs> anyway... Like I was saying, we are actually in the Nagi Temple. Um, and it's gone through some changes. As you'll uh, come to find out. Also, the main character has a banana on his head. I... I don't know why. Um... This guy's rude, these guys are interesting, and this guy... We'll talk to this guy. Hey, old man, how do I become a Cocoon Master? Cocoon Master? That's a blast from the past. We're all Beast Hunters. Beast Hunters? Is that a Cocoon Master? A Super Cocoon Master? Think of it more like a Super Hyper Cocoon Master. Anyway, you got a license, kid? A license? What's that? Do I gotta have one? Of course. Go to the Jade Throne Room and train to get one. So, there you go. Anyway, Beastmaster, Super Hyper Cocoon Mat. No. No. We're actually gonna turn the music down. A smidge in there. Like, I still want you to be able to hear it. Because it is pretty good. Most of it's just remixes of the original game. At least in the, the temple it is. Um, anyway, these guys are bird peoples. Hey you! What's that next to you? It's the bulletin board. First time here. Yep, I just got here. I like this guy's voice. Hi, what do you sell here? This is where people swap information. You use the bulletin board to find jobs. You mean, like, part-time jobs? Bingo. But the best-paying jobs can be pretty dangerous. But one more thing. To pick up clues, keep on talking to people. Right. Yeah. So anyway, we can't really do anything. Uh, we could, well, I mean, we could go to those other areas, talk to NPCs, but let's just get it started. Because, like I said, it takes a while. It's all like, you need to know how to play the game, herp to derp Whoa, this place is a lot smaller than I thought. Son, first time here. Sir, where's the chief? I want to be a cocoon master. The Nagi people are no longer here. Gone on a long journey, leaving my wife and I in charge of the temple. Now I alone protect the temple. Sir, are you the legendary cocoon master, Levant? <laughs> Who says I am legendary? As you see, I am quite alive. Since then, I have forgotten how long I've lived. Were I a normal man, should have died long ago. Ah, please pardon my bad habit of talking too long. May I continue? Sure! A legendary cocoon master has got to be an old man. So the chosen ones don't die? Or can't die is more like it. Camuel the Dragon God dwells within my body as protector of Elrin, God of the Forest. Protecting the seal of the temple for eternity, that is my duty. How come you got together so many Cocoon Masters? Levant, can't you just get them by yourself? The divine beasts in the wormhole have spawned awful mutants. The Nagi people feared them, calling them the Forbidden Seas. The divine beasts evolved and adapted to the environment of the wormhole forest. We call them Kalma. 
They are so numerous, I alone cannot handle them, so I need your help. Hmm, are they strong? They are violent, but also knowledgeable, formidable foes. So I gotta get stronger so I can beat them. Actually, I'm gonna get strong. I promise Dad. Your dad? Is your dad strong? Way strong. Huge fists and a big voice, too. He always says, son, you gotta grow up and be a man. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Let's start your training. What's your name? My name's Kahu. I want to work hard and get strong like you, Levant. Pleased to meet you, Kahu. A present from me to you. Take it. Totally ignores. Oh, yeah, vibration function. Ah. It is a beast amulet. Man's only weapon for fighting against divine beasts. It is a magic amulet, made by deciphering the ancient scrolls of Gehenna. With it, divine beasts can be handled without using the way of divine beasts. Cool! Can I keep this? Thanks! First, you need to learn walking through the wormhole forest. But if you have no interest in the forest, I will not force you. Many of today's youngsters are so impatient it's hard to... I'll do it. See the glowing gateway? <coughs> That's the Kamari Gate. You go in from there. Push the button in front of the gate and then you go. Go. Try. Cool. Alright, so... Uh, Kaya Gate's over here. Uh, just like before, we've got the two dragons. This room hasn't changed a whole lot. Uh, except for the giant Mabu statue right above uh, Levant here. So, and if you stop moving, it decides to tell you where you're at. So, all right. Yes, the Eternal Corridor has become a wormhole forest, apparently. Wow. There are these weird plants all over. This is an island in space-time, the Wormhole Forest. The divine beasts have a habit of making nests in the plants called ogre vine. Once in the forest, first look for the nests of the divine beasts. Nests of divine beasts? Ogre vine? What's that? Are they big? The ogre vine is quite a bit larger than the other plants in the forest. It's a big plant that gives off light and vibrates. Go find it. If you get lost, push the Beast Amulet's triangle button and call me. There's a triangle button on that amulet. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, you'll see. Wow, this is huge! That's Could what she said. Levant, is this it? Yes, that is an ogre vine. The divine beasts make their nests in there. Now, go on in. There are no divine beasts in this forest, so don't worry. Cool. I can hear something. Like, it's alive. Of course it's alive. We're in the male stalk of the wormhole plant. Male? Is there a female one, too? Exactly. A male stalk is an ogre vine. A female stalk is a princess vine. I can tell you more about this plant if you want. How about it? Are you interested? Sure. The plants come in pairs that make islands in the wormhole space. The male ogre vine bears spores that fertilize the female. The female princess vine receives spores from the male and bears children in the wormhole space. The children create new islands in the wormhole space and thus multiply. 
The Princess Vine Brutes are space-time tunnels that connect all the... The wormhole space has many connected islands, making a deep hierarchy of levels. The Ogre Vine and Princess Vine are the keys and doors to the islands in the wormhole space. So, what do I do now? You sometimes find gems and herbs dropped by the divine beasts in here. These items are vital to survive in the forest, so be sure to pick them up. So go ahead and search around inside this nest hole. Do do do. Yoink. I got it. Huh? What's this? Some sort of weird egg? That's a divine beast egg. The eggs you pick up are hatched in the temple. Cool. I've never seen one. So divine. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get lots of eggs and raise divine beasts. Finding eggs is merely one means of boosting your fighting. Our object as beast hunters is to purify dark divine beasts called Kalma. Aim for even deeper levels so we can purify even more Kalma. To advance to the next level, you need the key. Look over there. Clap. What's that? Some strange balls came out. <laughs> Those are key spores. They open the buds on the princess vines as exits. In short, they are like keys to the next level. To find key spores, look for the sparkling stamens. Remember this. Now go on and pick up the key spores. I got it. Now what do I do? Now eat it. Don't hold back. Just swallow it. What? Can you eat this thing? Eat it and your body gives off odors that stimulate the princess vine. Stimulated by odors, the princess vine buds open. That's how it works. Ugh, this looks pretty weird. Just swallow it. You'll be okay. Beast hunters have it pretty rough. Huh? Hey, something smells sweet. Your body is giving off musk spores. Now, fine. Right about now, the princess vine bud should be opening. Now go outside and find... I'm only gonna say this once. Kahu just took a load from the ogre vine and swallowed the whole thing. Yep. Sweet smell! Bet you ate a key spore. Yep. Anyway, so... Alright, no, I came from that way. We can spin the camera and stuff. That's Princess Look, Vine. See it sparkling? This is a Princess Vine. With its bud open, you can go through here and get to the next island. Yay! And you can always save in between <clears throat> islands, which is really, really nice. Huh? Where am I? You went through the wormhole tunnel in the Princess Vine and jumped to the next island. This is how you advance deeper into the wormhole forest. Got it? Yep. Thanks. Let's take a break. I'll show you how to press the triangle button. Yep. The menu. Yep. Use it. Yep. Once you're back at the temple, you've passed. Oh. What's wrong? I hit the button. The there we go. All right. <clears throat> He's gonna talk some more. Looks like you made it back okay. Now you can learn how to use divine beasts. Yes! So now I can finally start raising divine beasts. You're on your own for a while. Try talking. Press the button on top of the transporter. Then pick where you want to go. 
Go to Kikinak and Company for information about items picked up in the forest. The Shrine Maiden in the Room of Life will tell you about hatching eggs. After hatching your eggs, go to the arena to learn about battle formations. How can I remember all that at once? Anyway, first I gotta go hatch the egg I just... Fine, let's meet back here once your arena... Cool. Alright. So much I want to say, but I have to wait. So it's... Hey, miss! I got a divine beast egg! What do I do now? Well then, shall we hatch the egg? So... Ra sounds a lot happier, but I guess she's not getting dark brandings and all that stuff, so she doesn't... She would be happier! If she had a soul. Which, if you remember correctly, she is like a doll and doesn't really have a soul. Her whole purpose in existing was to get dark brandings, so to be immune to dying from them, whereas people die from them. So. Yay, and we get this little guy. Unfortunately, we didn't get lucky. Sometimes they can have special little attribute things. Um, so let's name him. Now I normally just keep doing this till I find something I like. Um, but for this first guy... Oh. Nope. Boogered that up. This completes your practice in hatching and your... Now, go to the arena and learn the basics of how to fight battles. The divine beast hatched today is in your beast notebook. So now, give the newborn a good name and take good care. Yep. So she clearly has a personality, whereas before she was like, I am raw. Like, so. Set those divine beast names you don't like into awesome ones. Zah. Yeah, we're not going to be doing this too, too often. Sorry, Sundance. There it is. Alright, it's circle. Alright, we are going... With Stitch! And that will make... more sense later. Yep. Nope, nope, we're done. We're done. And I love this guy. Divine Beast Administration. Here, I file away info on the divine beasts you find. Okay, apparently we have to even come back to get her to say her normal thing. But it's pretty amazing. So, seed beasts here are Kalma. That's already been captured. More about that later. This is the ones you have. We have this little guy. Uh, very quick witted. It is ra very rarely encountered, but has higher parameters than you'd guess. Grow slowly. That's wonderful. He who knows divine beasts best wins. No, really. You can't just spin. And then I'll make more sense in a second here. Because they're not talking about turning your divine beasts into silk and selling them. Which the Cocoon Master's responsibility was to purify the hearts and souls of the monsters, and that's how he controlled them with music and taking the evil demons out of them. And this one, we're just like, oh, look, there's an egg. Awesome. Got it. Yeah. <coughs> Come on, study the basics of fighting battles with me. Moo is like super stoked, which. Lesson one: spin and hit. The beast and Yep. Yep. I'm gonna skip. 
the majority of this. He who met many fire. How do you get a yellow wind? For example, use wind. Uh, so fire is going to be your damage dealers. Wind is going to be your status ailments. It's auto doing this, by the way. Um, wind doesn't have good defense. Water does healing, just like it did in the. I mean, these pretty much haven't changed. And Earth is defense. Like, that's still pretty much spot on with how it used to be. Look, but they are pay closer to Lesson two. Defeat the mask a divine being. So keep a divine. Okay, so when you're fighting somebody your goal is to hit them and they have little shield thingies, which we'll get into that later. Which is pretty much your health. On your pick a divine. Uh, I usually just go with the water one. You fought hard. This ends. Try assembling different form. You might raise a powerful. Now go to the gym. Cool. Hey there, young man. You were just talking to Moo. Come over here. Now, aren't you cute? Say, young man, who's prettier, Moo or me? You! Uh, you, maybe? Really? You really think so? Beauty can be such a curse. Since you were honest, let me tell you something. Young man, you want to power up that beast amulet you're wearing? Wow, can you do that? When and past the... Yep. This beast, it also... Yep. Wow! Yep. That's right. Yep. Beast hunters, yep. it's the mark of... Yep. You must have a... Yep. Whoa. Yep. Don't but yep. Get yep. Get strong. Yep. Alright. So down in the corner we have Reputation Zero. Do the uh, jobs on the bulletins and catch Kalma to raise your reputation. When you hit certain thresholds in your reputation, you can come talk to her, take advancement tests. That way you can carry more critters and get more shields, which is the top right there. Which is your health. In this game, you don't actually attack with Kahu or anything like that. Why he's got a knife, I don't know. Um, I passed my beast amulet training. Good job. Now is the final test. Try and use your training and experience to escape from the, the forest you are going to as divine beasts. An instructor disguised as a coma is waiting in some nest hole. Battle that instructor and get the key spore. Get through the exit princess spot and you... If I lose in battle in the... If that happens, I guess you're divine beast food. Really? <laughs> Just joking. The beast amulet will bring you back to the temple. That's how it works. Most gracious, eh? That's a relief. I don't want to get gobbled up by a divine beast. However, if you lose and come back to the temple, you forfeit all items. So then my eggs and everything will all be lost? So don't overdo it. Knowing when to quit is also important. You can use the beast amulet to get back to the temple whenever you want. Now, it's about time to start. Go into the farm. Yep, so don't die. First game it really didn't matter, but in this one it does, because you lose all your goodies. Which is sad.